Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Now, the number one way to ensure success in part two of the IELTS speaking test is to have a clear planning strategy that allows you to use your one minute planning time wisely. Poor planning leads to an unstructured talk with ideas popping up all over the place and not really tying together. Fortunately, it's an easy problem to solve. In this video, I'm going to show you the first of three planning strategies that you can use to prepare your two minute talk in just 60 seconds. I call strategy one the question prompt method. You'll probably find this method the easiest one to use if you like working in a logical structured way. Here's the cue card we're going to be working with as I explain how to use the question prompt method. Describe something healthy you enjoy doing. You should say what you do, where you do it, who you do it with, and explain why you think doing this is healthy. There are three steps to go through as you plan your talk. You have just one minute for planning, so don't waste a second of it. The three steps are, step one, make a list of the six question prompt keywords. Step two, Write bullet point notes for each relevant keyword. And step three, organize your notes into a logical order. You'll be given some paper to make notes and will be allowed to look at your notes while you're talking. So now let's go through the steps one by one to show you how the strategy works in practice. First, pick out the keywords from the bullet points. I've highlighted them for you here. They are what, where, who and why. There are two important things that you need to know at this point. First, you don't have to use all the bullet points. Second, you can talk about other things as well. You may find that you have plenty to talk about using the question prompts in the bullet points on your cue card. However, you do need to be prepared in case you don't have enough ideas or one or more of the bullet points doesn't fit with what you want to say about the topic. There are six question prompts altogether, so you need to add any that aren't already on the cue card, which in this case is just two. Here's the full list of all six prompts with the two extra ones underlined. What, where, who, why, when and how. Some cue cards only use a couple of these question words. If you get one of these, you'll be especially glad of the list to help you extend your answer. Next, make some bullet point notes using each underlined word as a headline. Do this as quickly as possible, ideally in 30 seconds. This is step two. If you think of something you really want to say that doesn't fit under these headings, just write an extra heading titled Other, and jot it down under this. The key is to stay focused on the topic. There isn't room on these slides for me to do this in full for this cue card, but here are the first three. To see the full list of bullet points, go to the Strategy 1 page on my website. The link is in the notes at the bottom of this video. So under the What heading we have Circuit Training different exercises, work whole body, varies each week, makes it interesting, sometimes do spin really hard. Under where we have TM Fitness Factory, owned by Linda Friending Club and son Tom. And under who, members of my rowing club, run by Chris, one of the members. Spend the remainder of your one minute planning time organising your notes. This is the third step. Do these two things. Decide which to talk about, and you don't have to use them all, and put them in a logical order. Here are the first eight bullet points in my reorganised list. Again, you can see the full list on the website. Obviously, you don't know the story I'm telling, but you can get a general feeling for the way they now flow from one to another better. Circuit training, every Tuesday evening, members of my rowing club, TM Fitness Factory, owned by Linda, 
friend in rowing club and son Tom, run by Chris, one of the members. Varies each week, which makes it interesting. Different exercises, work whole body. When you first practice this method, give yourself plenty of time to make your notes as you get used to the technique. You'll soon get quicker. Gradually cut down the time you allow yourself until you can do it in the one minute you'll have in the real speaking test. You're now ready to give your two minute talk. Refer to your notes if you need to, but it's far better if you can talk without doing so. What you must not do is to read out your notes. Your speech will sound unnatural and it won't be fluent. You may also run out of things to say before the two minutes is up as you'll forget to develop each point as you're talking. The process of making notes and organising them the way I've shown you should fix the ideas in your mind, ready for them to flow as you start speaking. The more you practice, the better you'll get at this. Here are the first few sentences of my sample talk on this topic. You can see the full two minute talk on the website. You'll also find some practice IELTS style questions there for you to use as you practice this strategy. Describe something healthy you enjoy doing. I'm a real fitness fanatic and do loads of things to stay fit and healthy. But the one I'd like to tell you about is circuit training. I do this for an hour every Tuesday evening with a group from my rowing club. We meet at TM Fitness, a gym owned by my friend and crewmate Linda and her son Tom. Tom actually runs the gym but we hire the hall and Chris, another of our rowers, leads the session. The great thing about circuit training is it involves lots of different types of activities. So this keeps it interesting week by week. We're never quite sure what we'll be doing when we turn up. I also have two more part two planning strategies for you. I've called them brainstorming and the five senses. By learning all three, you'll have all the tools you need to tackle any cue card topic that you get. The links to them are in the notes below and each has their own video on my YouTube channel as well. You'll also find links to lots of IELTS style practice questions. Good luck with your practice and I'll see you again soon.